Hi, this is John Perkins. Hi, I'm Craig Bell. My grandma used to say, John, whenever I'd bring up the argument, everybody's doing it. She'd say, well, if everybody jumps off a bridge, are you going to jump? Mm-hmm. Well, on Take 5 today, we're going to talk about that. Good for the soul. So, Brother Craig, today let's uh, talk about the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, found in Daniel chapter number three. Mm, that's a good one. You know, it starts out there, John, by Nebuchadnezzar making an image of gold, right? Yes. And, and I noticed in my Bible, I underlined all the times here that he said uh, that he set that image up. Verse one, verse two, the image Nebuchadnezzar the king set up. Verse three, the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Uh, verse five. Verse 7, uh, verse 12, verse 14, verse 18. Um, it's, it's obvious that the king had set this thing up for people to worship. And I thought, first of all, whenever man gets involved in worship, we mess it up every time, don't we? Exactly. And he had the band and everything there. You know, whenever they played, they were to bow. And if not, they was going to heat up the fire seven times hotter than it's ever been heated. Yeah, I couldn't imagine a fire being that hot. So when they played the sounds of all the instruments, all the music, everyone was supposed to bow down. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they realized that they was not going to bow down. Yes. And when uh, they played the sound of music, it said all the people bowed down. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the Bible said they stood tall. And you know, John, think about the percentage, because there was three of them And I can't imagine how many others there were there. Thousands, I imagine, right? And they're all bowing, but three out of thousands stood. And it makes me think today, John, you know, is there anybody bold enough to stand today? Are we going to cave to society, cave to the way the world demands that the church act, the way that the world demands that the church talk, uh, worship? You know, are are we going to stand? Are we going to take a stand for what the Bible truly says? Yes, we need that kind of faith, too, that we will be able to stick out. I heard one preacher say it's time for Christians to stand up and speak out. Yes, if ever there was a time, it's today, right? Yeah. So have you ever wondered, Brother Craig, when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was standing, when everybody was bowing, what was going through their minds, how that they must have looked at all the people, all the children, all the elderly people, everybody was bowing. Uh, some of them probably wasn't really praying. Some of them probably wasn't really believing in the God that the king had made. Mm-hmm. But they was down on their knees, praying and all of them. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego must have looked over that and just think, how how pathetic all these people not knowing the true and living God. Oh, yes. And, and how many people bowed to what they didn't believe just to appease, or they were afraid of being thrown into the fire, you know, or to appease the, the leaders and... Um, it's the same today, isn't it? We, we were so willing to just bow down and just to, to, to hush up about what you believe. Don't yeah. speak out. You know, don't, don't. You can be a Christian. Just don't, don't say nothing about it. Just keep it to yourself. <laughs> yes. Yes. I like the next part of the story, too. When they seen that they wasn't bowing down, they came over to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and told them that they was going to give them another chance. <laughs> yes, and I love the response. He says, we're not going to bow. They said, doesn't matter. And they said, God, in verse 17, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. Verse 18, but if not. Yeah. So it's like, you know, we believe God can, but if he doesn't, well, it doesn't change. We're still not going to bow. Yeah, there was three steps in that, Brother Craig. I preached that a while back. In verse 17, it says, if it be so, our God, who we serve, he's able. So first of all, he realized that God is able. And then he goes ahead and he said, he is going to deliver us from you. He might not give us the deliverance that we want, but he's able and he will deliver us from you. But if not, but if not, we're still going to trust in him. If the outcome isn't what we want it to be, we're still going to do what we know is right. Exactly. And I, I love how this ended because, see, the king lost. In fact, he lost his best men when they threw them in, his best guards were killed by the heat of the fire. Some of the strongest men in his army, I'm sure. Yeah, and then he lost his best ropes because he, he, he tied them up with the ropes. The only thing that burned in that fire was the ropes. Yeah. Ain't it amazing they got out and they didn't even smell like smoke? Their hair wasn't even burnt. Yes. So I don't know what you're going through today, friend, but I can tell you this, that God can bring you through it without the smell of smoke. 
And it may be a scary walk, but he'll walk with you every step along the way. Friends, if you'd like more words of encouragement, you can find us on Facebook under Old Fashioned Revival, and you can also find us on Parlor under Old Fashioned Revival.